this is Becky with Miss V Group Travel. Today I just want to talk to you about what happened to me when I took the COVID vaccine and the vaccine I took was the Pfizer. So do stay tuned until the end of the video and tell me what you think. Hi, my name is Becky with Miss B Group Travel and today I just wanted to talk and share with you um, what my reactions and why, why I got the COVID-19 vaccine and what also happened to my husband who also got the COVID-19 uh, vaccine. Now, I will put a disclaimer, I am not a medical profession. My opinions and my opinions alone are ones that I'm sharing in this video. One of the main reasons I decided to um, go for the COVID vaccine when the opportunity became available to me via my doctor was because, look, I'm a parent. I've got two young kids. I also have a business where it involves some travel. Right now in the UK, we are not traveling because of the lockdown. Again, when we do travel, and if you're like myself, watching what is uh, being given to us in the press, in the news, and talks of travel vaccine passports, or the ability of not being able to travel unless you have a, been vaccinated. So not wanting to have that risk and also protect the people I live with, the people I work with, and the people that I will eventually travel with in the future, sat down and looked at some of the pros and cons of the options. Now, um, it's like a lot of us, I had and I still may have that skepticism to say, you know what, this may have been rushed. I don't know how effective it's going to be. I've read that you could still get the COVID um, you know, uh, illness even with the vaccine, but I just went ahead and did it. Now, my husband does work in the health sector, so he obviously had his vaccine and the opportunity to get vaccinated quite earlier on before I did. He got the AstraZeneca, and this is what made me panic. He got the AstraZeneca um, vaccine. He had it in the afternoon and he went to work, back to work. And then the next day, sorry, and then in the evening, he started to get night sweats. Now, when I talk about night sweats, again, I'm not a medical profession. I'm not used to these things, but I remember feeling his skin at night and it was really clammy and sweaty. And I actually shook him to say, look, are you okay? Because you are really sweating a lot. And bless him, he was sleeping. He couldn't feel anything. So touched his forehead. He had a bit of a temperature. So we kind of changed the bedding, put towels. And I tell you, I changed the towels about twice that night. That is how much of body fluids that he was losing. So we just went online, checked what the guidelines were, gave him some paracetamol, of course, and some water. And this continued for two days. Now, in himself, he was saying, I'm feeling okay, just a little bit tired. And I do wonder whether when they offer people this type of vaccine, maybe it should come with a 48 hour stay at home before you go back to work. Okay, because of some of the side effects. I do appreciate that we are all different, but I just think for your body to recover and your body just to get this invested in you, I think there should be like a mandatory um, 24 or 48 hour for somebody to just rest. So after watching my husband um, and all that, I was a bit skeptical about getting my vaccine done. So my, my vaccine was then two and a half weeks later. I will say when I booked it online with the doctors, when I got the message for me to contact them and book it, I did not know what vaccine I was getting. There was no information. However, I was able to go on, choose the time slot. Information came to me of what time you should get there and what to expect. And obviously, check if you've got your coronavirus symptoms before you go if you have then obviously don't go and get vaccinated 
um, I went in and on the day I went, went in first thing in the morning uh, because I didn't want to have to go to bed after having had a vaccine and not knowing the side effects and after seeing what my husband had gone through. The process was very streamlined, it was very organized. We sat in the car, waited for our turn and when it was nearer to half past ten I had, I got in, you know, we sat down, you know, went in a queue, social distance queue, sat down, um, they confirmed your name, you know, your date of birth and then there was chairs sitting around and they asked me to sit down and then they told me that I was getting the Pfizer uh covid vaccine so i i then asked oh okay um is there options and they said no at this time and the center they just get the vaccines and sometimes they don't know until 48 to 24 hours and then they you know checked if i was okay with that and then they injected it was really fast not really you know and it was done then following that we had to sit down in a chair for 15 minutes um, after you've, had, you've been vaccinated and then after 15 minutes you're free to go and again they were social distance chairs so they were far apart from each other um, I didn't feel anything at initially when I got the injection but thereafter my arm started to be a bit sore now this continued um, for two days you know two to three days I had slight headaches but it was a continuous slight headache uh, they give you a pamphlet and tell you again uh, what to expect some people don't get reactions some people do I just had my arm was really really painful now the lady who the, the nurse who administered was very good and very careful I, I suppose um, so it, I don't think it anything to do with the administration it's just the fact you know it's the vaccine itself people react differently to medication I had a throbbing arm I literally couldn't sleep at night so I had to propel, propel myself on pillow on a pillow uh, just to get a comfortable sort of feel but I was, did not have a temperature I did not feel very very ill I had a bit of an upset stomach but it did not last for a long time it just you could feel it it was uncomfortable but it wasn't something that I would pick up the phone and contact the doctor I did of course read the leaflet and I started reading it from the center because during the 15 minutes they give you that leaflet and you get your card uh, and then I'm able to book for my second vaccine so knowing what I know now and watching what you know has been reported and also listening to other stories of other people I thought I'd share this because I am a person that does do a lot of travel when we do get back to it to traveling and for those of you who are wondering should I should I not listen the decision is up to you but if it looks like the industry and if it looks like the governments and the countries are saying no vaccine no travel read up about the vaccine you know contact your doctor or uh, find out if, if you're on certain medications find out if this is applicable for you you know look look for the advantages and disadvantages because I certainly want to travel with people that I know have been vaccinated or at least offer some little protection and that we don't spread it on to others so thank you so much for watching this video i just felt it was as a responsible uh, group travel organizer and as a responsible citizen look into it go and get vaccinated if you can if it's not something that you want to do but you still want to travel it does look like unfortunately for the next couple of years at least you have to have a you know a travel vaccine or a health passport i don't know i am watching and the press and the news and the information from the government just like everyone else but thank you so much for watching I hope this video encourages someone to look into more um, about the vaccines and listen I haven't had my second jab when I do and I'll let you know the after effects as well I will come here and share this with you at the time of this video this this has been a week after I've had my vaccine done for more travel tip related videos, please do check out um, the links that are coming on the screen and my other videos on my two minute playlist. For now, stay safe, social distance, wash your hands and see you on the next one.